What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Hope you guys are having a quick day as usual. So for this video guys, we're going to be reacting to the alternate opening scene that was deleted from Transformers Rise of the Beast. But before we jump into the video guys, I'm just going to need you to hit the like button, whatever side it's on, because it helps the channel and it helps the video grow. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Enough talking though. Let's jump into the video. We'll have a little discussion after. Let's go. I am Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobots or what is left of them. Seven years ago, we fled Cybertron as it fell to the Decepticons. Our enemies followed us, and in search of safety, I led as many as I could here. Earth. Now, we live in hiding, disguised, knowing if we are exposed, the people of this world will seek to capture and destroy the last of the Autobots. We cannot stay trapped on this planet any longer, so to find a way home, I have turned from prey. Last to leave again. To Hunter. <laughs> Yo. Oh. You cannot hide, Decepticon. I came for your ship. Give it up, and I will not destroy you. because it feels more authentic and it gives us a lot of information about the movie so let's jump right into it first of all we understand why the Autobots and the Decepticons are on earth like we never got that in the real cut of the movie we never got anything kind of explained to us they're just here already living amongst us and um, it's kind of it's not confusing but they never really just told us how they happened to get here, what happened to their own planet. Is Cybertron still a thing? It seems like it is, because the Decepticon in this scene mentioned that there's still a planet there. So what happened? Why did this select group of Autobots come to Earth? Why are the Decepticons following them? Um, I wish 
Excuse me. I wish we would have got a lot of information about that because that's important. That's what we care about. We care about the Autobots. We care about even the Decepticons. Like, I love Starscream. I love Megatron. They really add to the whole lore of the Transformers. So, not to know what is happening completely in Transformers Rise of the Beast, I feel like it kind of left a lot of people wanting more. But it's still not a bad movie. It's just a movie more about the Maximals and the Terracons, which is not bad because the title has the, the phrase Rise of the Beasts. But I wish they would have just at least told us a lot more about the background or the motivation or why these characters like the Autobots and Decepticons are on Earth. And this scene kind of shows that Optimus is kind of just here on Earth to get his team or party back to Cybertron. He has no feelings towards humans. He's kind of apathetic. He's not going to kill them because he's still a righteous being, but he doesn't really care about them to protect them or to save them. So what happened to make him that like this? Like we've never seen Optimus Prime acting like this. Like he's a savage in this movie and in this scene. So um, just unreal stuff, but I wish we just could have gotten more. Maybe that's in the next movie, and the next movie's already on this. They're working on it, guys, but there's a writer's strike, there's an actor's strike, so it's not looking good for, uh, future movies. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, because it helps the channel and the video grow a lot, but I'm gonna wrap it up, so take care of yourself, stay safe, because it is a crazy world, and there are a lot of crazy people. But most importantly, guys, you already know by now. Peace.